Hello, so today we're looking at the mail merge practice. Make sure that you've watched my videos on this if it gives you any trouble at all, which it probably will the first time you've done this, if this is the first time you've done this. So there's two files and you need to download both of them. rentinfo.xlsx is an Excel file and it looks like the kind of thing you wouldn't need for a Word unit. This just happens to be where all those addresses and all the relevant information is coming from. Form letter practice, this is the file which you're going to substitute the information into. So you're going to need to save those. I've already saved them to a folder much like this. So I've already downloaded rent info. I'm just going to save this thing in a folder. So there we go. So I've got both the files. I'm just going to open up that one. And so when I open it up, it looks like this. Yours is going to be a little bolder, so I'm trying to make it a little easier on you. But essentially all of these uppercase things, these need to be replaced with the fields from another file. So. In order to start this process, I'm going to head to the mailing tab. I'm going to start a mail merge. This is a form letter, so I'm going to click on letters and nothing happens. But now the stage is set. The next step is go get those recipients. So that's going to be use an existing list, and that's where that other file comes from. So that other file, it's, sorry, it takes me a minute to navigate it. It'll take a minute for you as well. Word. So rent info is the file that I'm asking you to use. So you click open, nothing happens. Now I go edit recipients. I am sending one to everybody, so I don't really need to do anything. I could have skipped that step, work them away from left to right. And so now there is no address block here. It's just a bunch of insert mail or merge fields. So tenant name, so that needs to be replaced. So let's head into here and see if I can find anything that looks good. How about first name? Right, so that's gonna be Dear Bob or Dear Karen or whoever's in there. And so that's that's exactly what I wanted. So I substituted an F name field. I probably should have a uh, comma after it as well. Grammar, right? And so address. So let's see what we've got for address. So I wanna replace address with another field. How about address? That sounds pretty good. Uh, amount. Um, there's amount. And looking for more stuff, so property management name. That's just a typo, I'll clean that up for yours. So that's a field again, that is prop management. And this right here also needs to be substituted with prop management. So notice I took all of the uppercase stuff in here and I replaced it with a relevant field. Now for this, I wasn't real clear about what you should write. You could write Dear Bob or Dear Bob Jones. As it sits right now, it's going to say Dear Bob. If I wanted to say Dear Bob Jones, then I would press space and I'll grab that last name field as well. So for name, I don't care what you do, just so long as you do something with it. Additionally, you might be wondering, well, this looks kind of like a greeting line. Could I have got away with a greeting line? Well, let's see what's in there, shall we? You know, and, and so really what this is, is exactly what we did. We just kind of did it the manual way. So absolutely, you could have just used a greeting line there. But I think there's more value in learning to use the merge fields, because with that, you can literally create anything. You could even create an address block from there. Anyways, we're done, but it doesn't look done until you press preview results. And I do, and it's to Carl Marlin. Here's your address. Here's the amount. Here's your property management company's signature. And that's kind of cool. And you can iterate through these and see all of them, right? And so you just created four customized letters that were uh, that adhered to that form that I gave you. So that's a mail merge. So it's kind of strange because you don't see any results until the end, but that's how this process always works. So hopefully you're getting familiar with it. The last step I ask you to do is merge them into a single document. So that's finish and merge, edit individual documents, just go all. And so now it created a new document called letters three and you can see each one of them is a document of their own. And that's exactly what you'd want to do with this. You would want to print them out and this is easy because you just print it and you're gonna have four letters sitting in front of you or 400 if there were 400 things in your source. So that's a mail merge. Uh, I made two videos on it because this is one of those things which kind of, uh, it's kind of complex, kind of confusing, but really once you get a feel for it, it's left to right and really the only trick is just knowing how to set it up and knowing what these various fields do. I think the most valuable one is this one because you can do anything from there, but sometimes you might need a green line or an address block. And don't forget that you have to preview results before anything happens. Thanks for watching and good luck.